Arab Tov Khabrim, I'm Stephen Benoun. You're watching Israeli News Live there. You're looking at the uh, Russian Admiral Kuznetsov uh, here in the Mediterranean Sea. And of course, as we already mentioned earlier today, the bombing had already began in Syria, in Idlib and Homs. Also, we've seen this evening by further into the day here, different reports coming out. Uh, we picked up on different news agencies as well as on Twitter, different people that we follow there that are showing that indeed uh, they're also hitting Aleppo, the outskirts as well as inside eastern Aleppo. I wanted to share some of these images with you as uh, we're looking at here. This is on Mikhail on his channel here as we're looking at some of these here, kind of bring down that volume a little bit. But I wanted to share with you though some things that are very important about this. This particular one right here, all right, and there's more than just this one. This is the Russian uh, Sukhoi dropping bombs there inside of Aleppo. These are parachute bombs here. And as they're coming down, you're going to see in just a moment as they hit their targets here, there's actually more than one. There's another one there, a second one there. But there's going to be about three or four that go off because you're going to see bombing everywhere. Back in there, two over there went off there, one hit here. Another one's going to hit to the left of the screen there as well. Uh, and here's what really gets me, guys. You remember here, a little while back, we actually reported, this is not the only video either, uh, okay? Totally not the only video. Remember this particular newscast right here? Let me kind of, let me jack up the volume for this. I want you to be able to hear here what we were saying then so that you will remember exactly what John Kerry said in that leaked audio recording that he dealt with there. This is where they're going to be talking, and John Kerry is searching for video evidence. Searching for video evidence. John Kerry! Guess y'all couldn't find the evidence of them bombing civilian hospitals. Thank you, Steve, for turning it up. Let's know what he says. John Kerry asked, "Do you have any video, any video evidence of this, of the of the planes dropping the bombs?" Of course, they try to say, "Well, you know, you just it's hard for us to get it. It's hard for us to get it." Well, let me tell you something. Since this uh, campaign here has started here. The people have no problem at all at getting uh, video evidence that Russia is dropping bombs. <laughs> Excuse me. The problem is here is that they were actually blaming Russia and the Syrian government for bombing hospitals, intentionally targeting civilians, all right? Total nonsense is what it is because they are definitely... Uh, hitting certain areas there, but they are not targeting hospitals as it has been claimed by the Syrian rebels there. Also, you, you see here one of uh, Russia's uh, uh, prize warships here uh, shooting out cruise missiles uh, headed into Syria. Watch as they hit their targets there. Again, they're de these, are, these are the precision accuracy uh, we weapons that they have, much like the United States is... Uh, uh, cruise missiles uh, th that was used in the Iraq war as well. And uh, they're using drones overhead, watching to make sure that they're hitting their targets, etc. But this is the one here that I did not realize that Russia broke out here. These are the bad boys right here that Russia uses here. These are supersonic missiles being used in Syria. I do not know if this has actually been seen before or used before in live action at all. These are your caliber and onyx cruise missiles engaged in their targets there. These are some deadly, deadly ammunition there that is going on there. All right. Also, another issue here. This is this some more footage here. Uh, fires everywhere. Now, it doesn't, as far as to my knowledge, and this is being uh, loaded by already happened, uh, another one of our friends there that we monitor on here. Um, I'm assuming from the bombing is what's causing the fires on this particular issue here. But again, can't it say exactly why? Syrian opposition say at least five people have been killed in this particular bombing right here where the bombs fell there. Again, in eastern Aleppo as well. Uh, now, going back over here, I want to share something else with you. 
uh, that, uh, that uh, Mikael actually loaded on his channel here. And this was an interview uh, that he did. Uh, by the way, he's also been loading on here that, um, that, um, uh, that the Ukraine police had 5,000 police today standing strong in Kiev with expectation of riots. Uh, but here's something I wanted you to listen to here, something that Mikhail loaded on his Twitter page as well. Very important news here. This is an interview being done with, um, with President Bashar al-Assad, and it is in regards to Turkey being in his country. Again, we know that he already calls this an invasion, but I'd like for you to hear this for yourself. Listen here. Pick out Turkey. Uh, their army is in your country. Their president said last week that their interests lays beyond the natural borders. He referred Mosul and Aleppo. Do you accept this? Of course not. Uh, you're talking about a uh, sick person. He's Miguel Omeyek, uh, president. He's not stable. <laughs> he lives in, in the, during the Ottoman era. He doesn't live in, in the current time. He's out of touch with reality. But how you need to do with their army inside your uh, country? It's our right to defend. It's an invasion. It's our right to defend uh, our country against any kind of invasion. But uh, let's be realistic. Every terrorist came to Syria, he came through Turkey with the support of Erdogan. Every terrorist came through, it came to Syria through Turkey with the help of Erdo Erdogan. Erdogan is how he pronounces his name. I guess it's a more correct way to say it, Erdogan. So, as he said, he's out of touch with, with, with reality. He said he's a sick megalomaniac. It's a good way probably to describe Erdogan. And of course, as he calls it an invasion, but the reporter is asking him, what are you going to do about it? Now, according to uh, President Assad, he said, we have a right to defend ourselves. But the thing is, is Erdogan knows that he cannot tackle Turkey without Russia's help. And that is a NATO ally. That would create a massive war in the region. But Erdogan is stated today that he has got his eyes set on Mosul and as well as Aleppo. And Russia pretty much, not, not President Putin directly, but it has been stated by Russian media that Aleppo is the red line for Russia. Will Russia defend, will they defend President Bashar al-Assad against Turkey? That's something that still remains to be seen. And I am concerned myself exactly how is this going to play out? What will happen in this particular case here? Things are not looking good there as far as that. I mean, as far as Russia now stepping up, it looks like that they're going to take Aleppo back. But remember, I've always stated that I believe this coup that happened on Turkey was staged with the intent, with NATO's help, in order to be able to get Turkey's military inside Syria's borders for later, they will do a launch directly against the Syrian government and take more land. I believe that's Erdogan's purpose to begin with. I don't think he's going to back down from it, not even for a moment. So I am very concerned myself as to what's going to happen uh, in this regards here. Um, and I just, I just don't know at this time here, guys, what's, what we can expect next. Uh, I am seeing a lot of uh, devastation looking at different videos here. Uh, this is Eastern Aleppo here again, uh, where bombs have been falling inside of Eastern Aleppo. This looks more like a documentary type of footage, so I don't expect that it was done here just within the last few minutes here. Again, though, let me show you this here. Again, they're able to catch video footage of the planes coming in. This is another Russian Sukhoi bomb, or no, this one here, I believe is a helicopter here. If these guys can catch the video footage themselves, and yet John Kerry says, have you got any video footage on this? Believe me, if it was the Russian military that bombed the hospitals, and of course they keep getting bombed over and over the same hospital, bombed, rebuilt, bombed, rebuilt, bombed, rebuilt, in a war-torn zone, this is insane, guys, totally insane. Propaganda uh, pumped out by NATO and their allies there to make it look like the Russia and President Bashar al-Assad are there just murdering civilians. It's the other way around. It's their backed rebels and thugs in the country there that are doing the killing of the civilians and trying to make it look like 
it's President Bashar al-Assad and that of uh, President Putin there in the Middle East there. I'm Stephen Benunas. Just to give you a quick update here tonight. I've got a special broadcast that we are putting together. I've been putting it together starting today. Right from Israel, you are going to see for the first time in your life those that are believers in Jesus, Yeshua. Guess what? I'm going to show you where Yeshua himself actually used a mikvah in Israel. The very one he used along with his brother James and the apostles. And it's still active to this day. Shalom. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov. Thank you.